air signs, it's Ariana. I hope you guys are having a great week. This read is for the week of September 12th through 18th. Thank you for all the well, good, get well wishes and all the warm consideration, guys. This is uh, like 90% better than what I was yesterday and the day before. Sinus infection 10, Ariana 15. I'm catching up on it, all right? I'm getting better every day, but my voice is still a little trippy. Before we get started, guys, big hugs and thank yous for your support, for your kind words, your likes, your subscribes, and shares. Good Lord, I'm having trouble with my S's today, and I just truly, really appreciate it. However, I've been getting quite a few messages about my offensive language. So, before we get started, let me put out my disclaimer. This channel is for 18 and up. If you are easily offended by language, this may not be the channel for you. However, thank you for giving me an opportunity and maybe sometime in the future, we will be able to work together. All right, with that being said, if you're ready to go on this journey with me, I'm ready to go with you. Air signs, this week we're gonna be reading on going through a rough time, okay? So before us, we have the um, Babylonian tarot. We have our carobs there, just chilling, waiting to bring us insight, and we have that sly and clever fox. This is your animal this week, guys. And, and brought to you by baby Einstein. <laughs> All right? Because I saw these cars, guys. I can't help it. I just love them. So anyways, this is your animal. And it's talking about opening your eyes and seeing things for what they really are. So a little bit about the fox, okay? You are very loyal, but it's time to develop. A lot of times, the fox is considered a trickster. So I'm sorry, air signs. You might be considered a trickster. However... You are really turning into a teacher. This thing is guiding you through obstacles. You got that quick thinking adaptability. You know, you can see through the deception. You kind of see how this guy's little head cock, like, bitch, please, okay? <laughs> and then it's clever. Clever as a fox. But one thing about the uh, fox that I was reading up on, it's about he is able to really camouflage himself. So you may be finding yourself in some situations this week where maybe you shouldn't be all in the forefront, all in, you know, all being seen and stuff. So you might need to learn some adaptability, some shape-shifting, you know, get in in the crowd and just kind of feel them out before you let everyone know who and what you're about. You're very smart, and you're, the fox is able to outsmart the hound, not because it's faster than the hound, but it knows when the hound is coming. It's very cunning, okay? I think it's so cute. I just want to pet it. Um, this is all about being courageous, okay, and being adaptable in your situations. So let's see what the Babylonian tarot has for us. I thought I'd try something different. You know, eventually I'm going to pull, I'm going to have to pull a shaman card because I just feel like we need a shaman card. But you know what? I can't help it. I'm going to go ahead and pull it. I don't even know if I did it for the earth signs, but I think you might need it. Let's see. I'm sorry I dropped the, the, the phone because I'm clumsy. There we go. The hunter of dreams. So the hunter of dreams is right there with your fox. So think about the fox and the fox being courageous. And now, not only are you going to be adaptable, but you're going to be out there getting your dreams. And of course, dream big, little fox, okay? Do you want more in life? You got to go get it, boo. Your dreams reveal your heart's desires. I attribute this card to the high priestess and the star card. This is like the nine of cups for me, too. Like, look at you. You're like all gun haul, ready to go, all right? Realization, wisdom, discovering of the truth, clues to life patterns, patterns, and opening up new paths, attending the metaphors and signs, using that fox medicine. Okay, let's bless the cards together. And that's from the Shaman's Oracle by uh, John Matthews and Will Kingham. Okie dokie, Smokies, let's do this. Thanks to Till Bless these cards to show us the energy for the week of September 12th through the 18th. There we go. Alrighty then. So like I said, this is going to be a five card read. I'm, I'm going to move the fox over though because I don't want him to, you know, interrupt you. Because <laughs> he's so cute, he might take the attention off the other cards. Alrighty. So, what you can change, what, what can change, this is what can change, okay? The king of arrows, all right, air signs. This is how to do it, the universe. What don't I have power over? This is like your life lesson, okay? Ooh, the will of fortune, all right. What aspect of yourself is the life lesson changing? The queen of disc mentality, all right. And what will I have learned when this lesson is over? 
Four of Cups. Okie dokie. I am going to do like I always do, where I just give you all the meanings that I can give you of each card. Oh, sorry, guys. And then I'm going to tell you the messages that I'm getting. Sometimes, guys, the messages come immediately, and sometimes they're not really coming. So I see a Leo, and I see the Queen of Discs. All right, guys, here's another disclaimer. This is a general read. This may or not may or may not apply to each and every one of you. However, apply it to the part of your life where you are having difficulties, whether it's a relationship, whether it's work related, or whether you're just really going through a rough time personally, okay? And from the looks of these cards, it's like a roller coaster right now, okay? So the king of arrows energy. This is like I said, this is some cutthroat energy. You're gonna have to be like the fox. But this can change. I think the king of arrows represents um, some air-like qualities. So whether you're male or female, since this is a general read, this could be you. Okay, you can change, guys, is what it's trying to say. This is violent, fiery energy that um, it's unstable and extremely volatile. It's almost like when you get pissed off air sign, you're going to go off, okay? You go off and you go off a little too hard sometimes, okay? Oh, I'm getting out of breath, but um, it, you're unpredictable. Okay, for some, if this is a person, like this is you, or or you're cross watching, <laughs> this is somebody who's very intelligent and aggressive, um, but you believe strongly in like black and white, the law. This is it, and that you know, there's no in between. There's no there's no gray area. It's either my way or the highway, and that's what I feel like Alil is doing. Like, mm hmm. Now, here's where it gets quite interesting. Elil is the um, son of An and Ki. This is the universe, and the universe was created out of the womb of the Queen of Cups, okay? Now, An and Ki were inseparable. They loved each other dearly so much that they had a child named Elil. Now, Elil is a hot mess, okay? He is what you would call... Um, ripping and tripping, okay? He tore his mommy and daddy apart. <laughs> so I kind of feel like air signs, you might do not get offended and get in your feelings, okay? You might be ripping it up on somebody, okay? You might be the third party entity in this relationship. And the only reason why I say that is because he's staring at the universe like, I'm coming to get you, okay? Now, the universe is how to do it, okay? However, let me tell you a little bit about Ki, which is Aruru, which is the Empress. She comes on down to earth, right? Because she's earth and he's heaven. And she recreates a life. So I feel like what you're going to do is you're going to recreate life. And you're going to be successful at it. It's not going to be like a total, like, you know, unsuccessful event. It's going to be with success because it's completion, when, and this is movement, this is travel, this is closure. It's like, damn it, it's time for it to happen. So what you don't have power over is karma, boo. You don't have power over the way the wheel is turning. That's just natural. I mean, you can't control destiny. What? Well, you can't control destiny? No, I'm just playing. You really can't. It's just what's meant to be will be. It's just the outcome. So it, this is telling you perpetual emotions. Things are being brought to the forefront. So basically, if you was a if you was if you was a good person, no, if you were a good person, you were making good choices. You're gonna get repaid for your good deeds. However, if you were doing dirt, okay, and you were being cabron out there or cabron out there, your your stuff might be put out in the open, okay, because it's your deeds coming to the forefront. Okay, now. This is an unexpected turn of luck. So you might have been feeling ripped apart, torn apart, right? And so you got this judgmental attitude. But now it's telling you there's going to be a change of luck. Things are going to change. So what aspect of myself is the life lesson uh, changing? Okay, for some of y'all are involved with an earth sign, okay? This is air and earth. Oh, on and key, you know? Sorry, I'm going to take it there. Um, and it's time to get grounded, all right. That's the aspect of yourself. That this life lesson is changing. The queen of disc upright. She is also known as the woman who weeps. Okay. She, La Llorona. I'm just like, she likes to cry. 
But this is just Donna because she loved her brother so much, the Capricorn God, that um, she was heartbroken when he was sent to hell by his lover. And she went and paid, she went and did his time for him because she's just good like that, you know, she's a good sister. However, the queen can be, um, she's loyal. She's like the fox, okay? And I think that's why, I'm getting out of breath, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, this is why the fox is here for you. Oh, let me turn something. <laughs> the fox wants you to harness that clever energy. It wants you to utilize that energy to get to a conclusion, okay? Because life can't be perfect. And I almost feel like it's, it's like the reason why you're going through a rough time is because you're not getting what you want right now. And you're always used to getting what you want. <laughs> You little spoiled booger, you. But the thing is, it's okay because if you got everything you wanted, you probably wouldn't be happy. So let's go back to the fox, okay? So your aspect of yourself in your in, in your life lesson that's changing. And this is, of course, we're going to fertility. Um, this is a person who's generous and compassionate and loving. You know what, guys? You haven't been that way lately. That's what it is. And the fox is telling you, man, just shape shift out of this situation. You didn't get what you want probably, but it's okay because life has something better for you. You just have to walk away. And that's what leads us to the, uh, when the lesson is over, you're going to be offered something and you're going to be like, you know what, baby? No, I don't want that anymore. I thought I wanted it. I don't want it because you're no longer the trickster. You're no longer being a trick girl. Now you're the teacher. I'm just kidding. So you're taking it to the next level. So that's what you're doing with that energy. You're taking that volatile energy and you're developing a more grounded energy with, with the queen of disc. Okay. Because she's compassionate. She's reasonable, dependable, truthful, down to earth. Okay. And right now you're all up in the air acting all wild and willy nilly out there. Okay. But it's time to develop. And that's what the fox medicine is. Remember, we're going to develop that. So the overall energy that you had was the four of wands. That is a um, family gathering. That is a wedding. That for some of you guys, um, okay, I'm going to pull the next card that's sitting right here. Because I I know that I've been doing this a lot lately. But when it's a message, it's a message. So I had the four of wands. And then right, right under the four of wands was the ace of discs. Okay, for some of you guys, you are getting married and it's a new beginning, okay? And for some of you guys, you found out there is a marriage and it might be an ending, but to you, a new beginning, okay? For some of the, for some of y'all that are the third party, they're going to stay in their marriage and you're going to move on and you're going to start your new beginning. So there's a lot going on. And for some, this is work-related and you just have a new beginning coming in because it's your time, baby. The universe is giving it to you. And it's your time. It's your destiny. You're going to develop this business mentality and you're going to, you're going to have some highs. You're going to have some lows, but in the end, you're going to, you're going to follow the light. Okay. Okie dokie. I want to clarify some things. I don't know about you, but I really want to clarify some things. This was the hunter of dreams. So I'm going to ask you, what is your dream? What can change in your dream? How can you do it? What, what lesson do you need to learn? Okay, these I'm going in the order of the cards. What aspect of yourself is the life lesson changing? And what lesson will you learn when it's over? Let me give you a little bit more on the Four of Cups. I don't feel like I explained it too much. The Four of Cups, this is when um, the, the Emperor Marduk goes off and they tell him, dude, you let this place go to hell. You know, it looks so nasty here in Babylon. Why'd you do this? So he goes off and he goes and gets his suit tailor made. He's looking all fly, okay? He's looking super cute. And he comes back and everybody's dead because Era came through and killed everybody. No, no, no. So he's like, what happened? How could you do this to me? Why did you do this to me? And then he realized in the end, he got up off his ass. He changed things. And life has to start over, okay? And it's almost like that's part of the lesson. But the fox medicine is telling you, you're going to see through the, the lies, okay? Because you're clever and you're going to outsmart the situation. All right, let's clarify. All right, let me, 
run it through real quick. So what can change is this volatile energy that you're feeling right now that you want to rip somebody's world apart or that somebody's ripped your world apart. How to do it is to realize that some things are just coming to an end and out of an end becomes a new beginning, okay? However, that moves us right into what you have no power over and that's destiny, boo. You can't change was written on the tablet of life. And then what aspects of yourself are changing? You are becoming grounded. You're becoming more loyal. You're getting back to your roots, okay? And then what will you have learned is that life has a series of ups and downs and it's the way that you look at it. You can either celebrate and start anew. It all depends on you. Okay, oh Lord, I need to paint that now. All righty, guys, let's clarify. I want to clarify what, um, how to do it with the universe. This is how we do it. I'm just kidding. I know, I'm corny, I'm sorry. All righty, let's see. How can air signs do it? And doing it, and doing it, and doing it, yeah. You are going to hermitize. <laughs> You're going to go within yourself and you're going to get the illumination. You're going to get the answers that you need. You're going to get what is needed from you, okay? Because you're not being very creative right now. You're being a little destructive and, and you're not, you're being self-destructive is what it is. It's a lot of like down talking yourself. You need to up talk yourself. Okay, we know we can't control, you know, karma. So there's no need to clarify that. But let's clarify this queen of disc. Ah, la, la, la. Come on. Okay. The Tower. What's that song? Um, this Girl is on Fire. I'm not going to even try to sing it with my hoarse voice right now. But, um, yeah. You're on fire. Watch it burn to the ground. Okay? That energy, that volatile energy, just burn it down. Burn it all down. Recover. Start anew. Okay? Everything's going to start over new. So what will you have learned with the Four of Cups? Because you're four of cupping it up, baby. Because you're hermitizing. All right, let's see. And there's Era. Wait a minute, did I pull more than one card? Oh, no, no, okay, that's what the carob had for us. Okay, so remember I said, okay, <laughs> and it gets better. Okay, remember when I said that the Prince of Wands came in and like wrecked shop and killed everything that Marduk had? Well, damn it to hell, here's Era. There he is, wrecking shop. And that's the lesson. You're going to find the snake in the grass, okay? Yeah, clever fox, you. You're going to find the snake in the grass. You're going to know who did this shit to you. You're going to find him, okay? And that's it. And then, you know what? You're going to celebrate and you're going to get on to your new beginning. All right, I'm looking at this. You have two new beginnings with the ones, okay? You have two fours. It's a safe and secure time. You continue doing what you need to do. All righty. But yeah, you find the snake in the grass because you're a little clever fox, you. You little sexy thing. I'm so excited that you find out, Air Sign, who's, who's doing the boo-boo. Who's doing the boo-boo? But you're going to solve it by going within yourself. Okay, that's that's what the universe wants you to do. Whoo! Is that on? No. Yep. On and key. Oh, well, that's not key, but on and key got ripped apart by a little. Y'all, somebody, okay, some of you air signs are tearing up a happy home, and some of y'all's happy homes are being torn up by another air sign. So I'm just going to throw it out there. You can throw it back if you don't like what I just said. Grandfather Sky is your cord. Okay, Grandfather Sky, this is from Denise Lynn, the native spirit. Grandfather Sky, this is a pretty card, guys. This is your time to reach for the sky. Uh-oh, what did I tell you? What did I tell you? Hunter of dreams. Dream big, little pig. Expansive energy, vitality, health, healing, and passion. These qualities are expanding in your life. The sky is the limit. You are a healer and a channel for the life force of the universe. All right. Okay. All of it is tying together. Your ability to sense the energy fields is increasing dramatically. Be prepared to soar to new heights. Guys, weren't y'all the eagle the last time I spoke to you, air sign? Somebody was the eagle. And it was a cool, cold situation. I think it was ice cold to be exact. So if you follow your emotions and needs, the freedom to spontaneously express is going to be there. It's inside of you. Running on your own resources. 
And part of the fox is gathering your resources, okay? Get everything together. Get it together and get the hell out, okay? Because it's very cunning. It's easy to become drained. However, letting the divine light of the creator flow through you easily replenishes your soul. All right, air sign. I think you got it, man. Oh, I got to do your, um, let's see what, one more card, one more card, one more card. We got time. Do the rooms half for you. Yep. Burkana. Okay, so when I did pull Burkana, I'm going to read y'all both of them because it came out reversed. And I don't really feel like I'm, I don't know. So I'm going to tell you, for some of you guys, it's all nice and upright. And for some of you guys, it's not, okay? So Burkana is about fertility and women and everything. It may indicate conception of birth, a new baby, things like that. And a baby, guys, does not necessarily have to mean a physical baby. However, for some, it is with this little section right here okay for some it is physically a baby for others it's a project however you're being very creative and it's time to nourish what you already have and be thankful for it and for others where that you feel like your creativity being cre creatively being blocked there may be some health concerns or worries about children especially concerning health okay so attention is needed <coughs> sorry but even in reverse this isn't a bad card okay it's just telling you to harness your creativity. And I think you're going to need to harness some creativity with this young, young, young buck right here. Okay? Because when you find out what this bad boy did, because he's got his little, um, he's going to shoot you down when you're not looking. Okay? And it's the tower. Remember it was the tower? This is the lesson. Okay? This is the lesson you're going to learn. Four of cups at first. You're all depressed. You're bored with life. So you're going to go change it up because this guy convinces you. And this guy burns it down to the ground because this girl is on fire, right? Remember that, all right? So that's what you got for uh, the week of September 12th through the 18th. I hope it made some sense to you guys. If nothing makes sense, take Grandfather Sky and the Fox, okay? And just take the medicine of the Fox this week with you. Be adaptable. Be clever, you know. Harness that energy that I've been talking about for the last 20 minutes. Okie dokie, air signs. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and my crazy voice. You guys take care.